the legendary Spa-Francorchamps circuit hosted the fifth round of the Ferrari Challenge European Series on the weekend of the 15th of July. It seems that rain or shine, Balzani is always in front followed by his teammate Bjorn Grossman, his closest rival, who finished second after some spectacular duels which confirmed the supremacy of the Ferrari Moscow team in Belgium. Third in race one was Robert Pergel, who finished 22 seconds down on the leaders. Well, it was a very hard race for me because it was my first time on the really, really wet condition. On the straight, about 240, 250 kilometers by hour, the car was moving right, moving left, every lap different. So the last 10 minutes, I really want to manage the, the race in the championship view. Yes, it was a really hard day today. It was, uh, I think nobody see anything and it was really dangerous at the beginning. Uh, after some laps, it was possible to drive, but not a nice race. Balzan and Grossman again in the first and second position, while it was Max Blancardi who was back on the podium. Well, I was very happy because uh, for me the race of today was much funny. No, no aqua planing, no dangerous point on the racetrack. It was uh, is, is amazing to make seven straight victory, like the seven gearbox of the 458. So I'm very happy with the team, and uh, of course I'm boring, but. I'm, I'm enjoying it, really. <laughs> yeah, it was a really hard fight. So um, I, I see him in front of me and I come more closer and closer in the middle of the race. But maybe I overdrive the car and he don't uh, do any mistakes. So it was not possible for me to, uh, to catch him. We have the really same car and we are really happy. So yeah, it's perfect. Race 1 of the Coppa Shell was started behind the safety car because of the amount of water on track and the victory went to the poleman Daniele Di Amato, the only man capable of breaking the dominance of the Russian team that nevertheless finished second with Alexei Basov. Third was Raffaele Giannoni. I'm happy and I want to dedicate this victory to my friends of the team CDP hanno veramente fatto una macchina ottima, è stata sempre molto performante fino, fino alla fine. It's uh, ok, uh, race, uh, ok, position 2 uh, and uh, me uh, leader championship, it's uh, ok, ok, ok. Race 2 of the Coppa Shell rounded off the Belgian weekend and featured plenty of fights and passing moves, which made the result far from clear right up to the final lap. In the end, Paso was first with the checkered flag, ahead of Raffaele Giannoni and Giacomo Sratta. This was a very, very hard race, but anyway, he wins. <laughs> Ну, в итоге я все равно первый. 
yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because we, we touched each other you know, on the straight and, um, and so my back wheel was, uh, uh, I think you know, the back wheel or the front wheel were, was damaged and so I couldn't drive properly and, and I made a mistake. So I wanted to win but things that happens and uh, I'm just happy that I was faster. The sixth round of Ferrari Challenge North America took place at Lime Rock Park on the weekend of the 22nd of July. We see what happened. Of those drivers entered for the two races in the Trofeo Pirelli category, Onofrio Triarsi, driving for Ferrari of Central Florida, took the win in the first to confirm his lead in the championship, while the second one ended in victory for Carlos Kaufmann for Ferrari of Beverly Hills. In the Shell Cup, there was a great performance from Ferrari of Ontario's Robert Ejavec and Guy Leclerc, Ferrari of Fort Lauderdale, who dominated the first and second legs respectively. Oh, this is my first time out here and it's been a blast. Uh, I love the track and I managed to stay out in front and uh, just get a gap between second and third place drivers and uh, use traffic to my advantage and was able to stay out in front. This evening's race I feel pretty confident uh, starting in uh, second place, so I uh, just hope for the same result. Oh, it felt sweet, especially since I didn't drive so well this morning, uh, second place. Is, feels great. Fun track, just a total momentum track, uh, little mistakes could kill you here, and, uh, but really exciting. Yeah, I like it. It feels like a million dollars. I didn't anticipate that I would be here. I didn't go out in the rain yesterday. We did one session in the dry. And thank goodness when Ferrari assigned an instructor to me, Mark Hamilton Peters showed up and from my former Skip Barber days in the open wheel car. He, we cut four seconds off my slowest time to my fastest time before I went out and qualified this morning. The driving's clean, aggressive. Everybody wants to go out there and win. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I didn't anticipate the uh, to be able to do so well, and so uh, I'm extremely excited about what happened today. What a dynamic car, it's just, it's like dancing with a ballerina. It's smooth, it's well balanced, tons of power, and so uh, I'm hooked, I'm in the series now. If you win here, you're the king of Lime Rock, so it's certainly my favorite now. Of course I'll be back, and uh, I'll be back with uh, even more enthusiasm. Private testing at Spa for two days for owners of F1 Clienti and XX cars. No fewer than 18 gentlemen drivers took turns on this track that is truly unique in terms of its length and also the weather that can tax the lucky owners of these dream cars.
present in the role of F1 coach was Marc Genet, the Spaniard who works for the Scuderia on racing and promotional activity linked to the development of the car. Don't miss the next races and events after the summer break with Corse Clienti Racing News. <laughs>